up, y'all? It's your boy, Chef D Monster. What's up, guys? It's Christina Jersey. What's up? It's your girl, Lucci, a.k.a. Erica. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay Lamina, a.k.a. The Jayla Show. What's going on, Thanks. This is me. What's up? It's your boy, Anthony Anderson, to the party boy of Houston. I'm Natalie Nunn, and you watching Batty Code. I would marry a cancer because, well, a cancer woman. I would marry a cancer woman because cancer men, y'all motherfuckers are sneaky. Y'all already motherfuckers know how y'all get down. Oh, marry one, don't win, fuck one. I'm gonna marry, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really, I'm not good with the sands and shit. I would definitely marry a Gemini because I like a bitch to keep me on my toes. I don't like the same day every day. So a Gemini is two-faced. I want a bitch that could give me some, some problems. Marrying a Cancer. I'm dumping an Aquarius and I'm definitely fucking a Sag. If I was gonna marry a Sag, I would marry my own sign because I'm a Cancer. Cancer is just the best sign that I can always give you genuine energy. We always gonna tell you what it is, show you what the fuck to do. Um, I would fuck uh, Aquarius because I get along with Aquarius and they very lit, very turn, very honest, just like myself. And if I was gonna dump one, I'm dumping the Pisces. I'm sorry, I got I can have a Pisces friend. But bitch, they ain't no Pisces, that shit, that shit's dead. Bitch, you're dead! You're done! I'm a Capricorn. You already know I'm the motherfucking best. We're the Alpha, the Omega. Technically, we are the most successful sign. My sign is Cancer, and I am the best because I look good, I cook good, and I fuck good. What's up? Baddies make sure they always got a table at the club. We ain't standing in no lines, ain't no ropes being closed. And bitch, we ain't on no guest list because we are the guest list. When you walk into my club, the bottle girls gonna know where the money at. And they gonna know who to, who to dub. They gonna see money when it walks in and we gonna see who to sell you the section. And it's, it's boys with five, six bottles in this section. We ain't trying to talk to the girls with the one Tito's. We gonna do that. A baddie in the club, you can automatically spot. You can see a bad bitch from a mile away. She gonna have a drink in her hand or a cup of champagne in a section full of bad bitches with boss ass niggas doing what bad bitches do, sit and look pretty, period. Anybody who knows me knows for certain, any type of time you're gonna see me, I'll say, hey, I'm gonna be with a group of bad ass bitches. If you go on my Instagram, if you go on Snapchat, you go on anywhere, anywhere I'm out there, all my bitches gonna be dressed, hair done, shoes right, like, you know, we don't pop out looking a mess. Like, I might look a little crazy right now, this is the shirt by me, you know, I'm a stylist or whatever, you know, step your shit up. But if you see me out in like real life in the public in the club, bitches know what the fucking game. Cause when I step in the scene, it's gonna be a raw ass outfit for one from me. And then every bitch walking behind me is gonna have a same raw ass outfit cause we just don't play that shit. Period. We got free drinks, pretend to be cute, and then take all your money. When a baddie walks in the club, number one, y'all already know, no line, no way, and you know we ain't paying. Number two, baddie never has to buy her own bottles because the niggas gonna send them right over to us. And number three, you already know you gotta walk in that motherfucker with your wig laid and slayed. And one thing I hate about going to the club is going to the club with a broke bitch. You bitches go to the club, y'all wanna party, y'all wanna ah, 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 but then put on shit for the bottle, for the motherfucking hookah, and y'all love grabbing the hookah stick. Give my hookah back, hoe. What kills me is when these broke bitches get to the club and they never have a section, so they always looking around, trying to find who the fuck's table they can mooch off of. Then they get there and they just start grabbing people's bottles. It's like, bitch, hold on. This ain't your shit. Broke bitches in the club. Now, I, for one, I'm the type of friend, like, if you know, you ain't got it, whatever, or like, you know, do some round of shots, or whatever. You know, I don't mad paying for the shot. Or I don't mad, you know, giving my friend a drink, you know, they give my drink. Like, you know, just being, you know, cordial, having a club etiquette. But bitch, if you come to the motherfucking club, you just sit down, sipping your shot, bitch. <laughs> bitch, if you order one shot, everybody taking motherfucking gallons of motherfucking liquor, you talking bottles, bitch, you over the corner sipping a shot. I ain't never seen no bitch in my life sipping one motherfucking shot. I, Literally, so all you bitches who want to go to the club on a budget, I don't play that shit, because one thing about it, I want to have a good time, and if every time I turn around, bitch, you up here, poke your motherfucker lift out, trying to sit your motherfucking little ass out the shot, bitch, you're, you're not invited to the next function. Now the little ragamuffs be walking in the club. You know they waiting in the line talking about the promoter said you gonna get me in. Girl, what the fuck? You don't know that nigga. Stop fucking playing. Them bitches be hovering around the section trying to get a little free shot and them bitches wigs be floating in the air. If you dating a drug dealer or a scammer, niggas always have the oddest names like Pookie, Ray Ray, 
Red, blue, like, nigga, is this elementary school? You ain't learn your primary colors? Man, you know you didn't know the scammer if they name motherfucking Josh, motherfucking Rico, Lil T, Lil, Lil everything. If you got a little for your name, you a scammer, I'm convinced. Drug dealer in the hood, if he's Hispanic, his name is Bebo. They rent apartments, they sell social securities, they do all that shit, but when you look online, they work at Starbucks, they work at Carmack. A drug dealer or a scammer, I don't know what the hell they be doing, but they always tell you that they are like a leasing agent. Oh yeah, I'm an investor of a club, or I'm investing in my bitch boutique, or I'm investing in, in the hairline. Drug dealer scammer names. Now, for one, y'all know I'm really from Chicago. I see the other person on here saying it's from Chicago, but I'm really from the ghetto. Like, I'm from the hood. Like, I literally live next door to scammers and drug dealers. So, like, I know a scammer named Porky. I know a drug dealer named Nelson. I know, <laughs> like, these are the real people. Like, real drug dealer names. Like, um, this is a boy named Ray Ray. He pop you. And Ikea. They'll tell you that they play basketball because they always at LA Fitness. Usually, a drug dealer be like, you know, I work with pharmaceuticals, and a scammer be talking about, I be doing computer work. I know what the fuck that mean, nigga. Just making his fucking name up. Niggas love just making up their name. Oh, yeah. oh this is it's a boy named Chicago. His name is literally Chicago. Like, it's Chicago. Literally, like, O-H. Get the fuck <laughs> Scamming ass niggas, love a challenger, old scat pack having ass nigga, old Camaro driving ass nigga. A drug dealer is definitely driving a Honda Civic or a Honda Accord with tents. Scamming drug dealer cars is definitely a situation. It's not even a hard question. Y'all know scamming the drug dealer niggas, they love chargers, they love a challenger, they love, sometimes they Mexican, you know, they get that big ass taco, big taco truck with the big ass wheels. And a little fucking ramming thing on the front. If I get stopped in the car with a drug dealer or a scammer, I'm letting the police know, honey, that's the Uber driver, okay? If I get pulled over and I'm with a drug dealer or a scammer, bitch, I'm blinking twice. My life is in danger. I actually called y'all. Pick this nigga up and let me go. Damn, both of us are going to jail if I get we get pulled over. I'm running. I crossed three rivers to get here. If I got pulled over by the cops with a nigga, I don't know about the other hoes, but I'm rap by nigga, period. I'm not, I know that, I, for one, I'm not gonna go to jail because I don't scam while I'm drug deal. But I'm not gonna just be like, oh yeah, this nigga, I don't know him. Like, damn, bitch, you was just riding around this nigga making plays and shit, and now when the police come, you wanna switch up. I ain't no switch up, weak ass bitch. If my nigga go, and I know it's a pound of motherfucker weed in the trunk, bitch, I'm gonna have a seat. Right there in the motherfucker passenger seat. Man, these Uber drivers these days, as soon as I'm finna get in a fight, I be like, you know you done fucked up, right? Cause bitch, I'm finna beat you. Sister, I'ma let that hoe know she a bitch, stink ass hoe. Fuck you and your mama, bitch. And it's on. What's up? I'm from Chirac. I'm from Chicago, and y'all already know what that means. Get in my face again, I'ma slide your ass. I don't. If I'm finna fight, it's no words. What the fuck are we talking about? It's, if this the finna be a well, fight, bitch, we just gonna have to fight. I'm not finna sit and go back and forth when I know we're gonna fight, bitch. Ain't no first word, bitch. Bow. That's the first word, <laughs> bitch. Bow. But that's the first word you gonna hear if it's happy to fight. Cause ain't no motherfucking words, bitch. This is what baddies do. We walk in anywhere we go, whether it's a restaurant, a club, a designer store. We don't stand in line. We get what we want and we leave. We do. 100 foot yacht parties off the coast of Ibiza. Like, you know what time it is. We on islands that ain't even on the motherfucking map. Bad bitches own their own businesses and get to the bag. That's a real bad bitch activity, being about your fucking money. A baddie is always gonna get money. That's my favorite activity. Run it up. What you talking about? I am a graphic designer. I'm an aspiring model. I'm an artist. Um, I can paint, I can draw. I um trying to start my own photography land. I want to start a clothing land. Um, I'm trying to learn how to sing now because I, you know, I got a little vocals. I can get a little, I can, you know, I can, I can get up there if I need to. So I want to start singing. I'm gonna perform. I can host. Like you know, I'm very talkative. Um, I'm trying to get a also a college student. Like I'm in my, I'm gonna be a junior. When I go back, but I ain't in college right now. But when I go back, I'm gonna be a junior. But um, I wanna major in advertising and marketing so I can make sure you know, big branded. Like y'all know my YouTube channel, bitch, I did brand all this on my own. So I wanna start branding other people to make sure they can, you know, get their bitching out and be a creative director. So yeah, that's the baby code, bitch. Make sure you do a multiple thing. Just being a bad bitch and getting drunk and going to the club, you know, I feel bitch, that don't make you a bad bitch. No surprise that I only drink Casamigo. When I drink honey, I just want to fuck. 
My choice of drink is Casamigo because it turned me into a Casa Frico. If you a baddie bitch, you drinking Casamigos all day. If you really with the shit, you can make it a funeral drink. Casamigos with a splash of champagne. It's on the flow, ho. I do not drink Casamigos. This shit makes me want to fight. Every time, I only drink Casamigos two times. And the second time I drank Casamigos, I was literally in the motherfucking Utah Street barefoot with this fat ass bitch arguing up north. And I don't even argue with this. That's what I'm saying. Like, bitch, it, it wasn't even given, like, to that point to fight them because, bitch, you look a mess. So, what am I fighting for? But it was the fact that they lost their wallet and they cut fat and they wallet. And they was upset, so they tried to like brush past me, bitch. And I'm like, you know, bitch, say excuse me, like, I don't need bangers with my mouth, bitch. I, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm trying to have a good time. I ain't never trying to do no shit. But, bitch, when I had that coffee bill, bitch, I turned, bitch, girl, <laughs> I turned around with that coffee bill, bitch, I felt like a lion. Those on Casamigos. <laughs>